Welcome to the Mobile World Congress here in Barcelona. It's the uh, self-styled, most influential and largest connectivity event on the planet. Now, as you can imagine, with connectivity taking centre stage at a tech gathering, the Wi-Fi is pretty reliable. But of course, that's not always the case everywhere and maybe not even where you are. In a lot of parts of the world, outside these vast halls, Wi-Fi connectivity can be patchy at best and non-existent at worst. That's a problem for individuals, for households more widely, for communities, for businesses and economies, but also for Tiago Rodriguez. He's the CEO of the Wireless Broadband Alliance, and he says it's his mission to, quote, make Wi-Fi easier and better for everyone. So, in what way, and how does he plan to do that? Uh, Gavin, in multiple ways. All of us as consumers, uh, we use Wi-Fi every day, almost every day. Uh, our families, our friends, either at home, at our uh, work, when we are traveling, Wi-Fi becomes a key part of our lives. And what we need to do, and I've been keen to drive that vision, is how to make it easier for people to feel secure when they connect to Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. when I feel safe that I have more devices connected, and as well to deliver a better uh, speed and performance. So everyone hates to get into the Wi-Fi and then suddenly I cannot do anything. Yep. And the wheel starts to spinning. It's a familiar feeling, let's exactly. face it. So we it. need to recognize those gaps and address them. So in the Wireless Broadband Alliance with many of our members, we are uh, spending time, resources, to make Wi-Fi better for everyone. And this includes, of course, our houses, mm -hmm. all the different enterprises, offices, smart cities, digital transformation for the enterprises in global. So what's standing in your way then? What are the obstacles that are preventing getting this everywhere to everyone? Yeah, one of the things is, is a very fragmented industry. Mm -hmm. So let's be honest, the two of us, we can go anywhere and set up a Wi-Fi network. So there is no limitation. It's just we go to anywhere, a retail shop, we buy a, a one Wi-Fi antenna and we deploy everyone. So it's very complex to bring all these different players to come together. There are some very strong initiatives that we run. So for example, why our devices don't attach automatically to the Wi-Fi? Mm -hmm. Why as users I need to know where to go and choose a network? So there are already uh, technologies that can help the citizens and all of us as consumers, okay, to help us to connect to Wi-Fi. And if it's safe, even better. And if it's secure, even better. Mm -hmm. So those are the type of uh, alignments that we are driving into in the And industry partners, how important are they in, in what you do? They are fundamental. So companies like Huawei and others, uh, they bring their technical capability, yeah. their resources, uh, their knowledge into the, some, some of the technical committees and groups that we have. Mm. And we try to align all these technology companies. Uh, as you can imagine, device manufacturers, infrastructure manufacturers, laptop manufacturers. It's kind of a jigsaw. Exactly. Of... All of them with their own interests, as you can imagine. Yep. Uh, so we need somehow to find uh, some level of consensus that everyone agrees, okay, this is the way forward. And a good example is Wi-Fi 7. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, align uh, all these different companies that work on Wi-Fi to have a standard to move forward that uh, broadband connectivity. Well, tell me a bit more about that. So how is Wi-Fi 7 better than? What are the advantages over Wi-Fi 6? Very simple. Good. First <laughs> one, speed. Yep. Uh, we can have faster speeds at our own. Uh, so it's super important. Talking to the residential use case, the fiber to the home, the speeds of the fiber are growing very fast. So it's important that the Wi-Fi can follow that trend and give faster speeds. Second is performance. One of the capabilities of Wi-Fi 7 is to be able to manage more devices and manage more traffic. So the that Wi-Fi capacity. 7 capacity. Been, yeah. So imagine in our houses, uh, we can have more devices doing uh, high bandwidth requests. Uh, all my running, kids downloading all the, the kids, everyone on Netflix, <laughs> everyone gaming. I'm not sure that's a good call. thing to be saying to a parent. But yeah, okay. So all those applications are putting a lot of pressures on, on the Wi-Fi and on the networks. So it's important that the technology evolves to solve that. Mm. So I'm super keen on that. And one very specific that for gaming is fantastic is low latency. Yes. 
So the yeah. ability to send the traffic back to the device super fast. So, for example, the gaming is a perfect use case for that. Yeah, my daughter would hug you to know, <laughs> to know that. She'd be very happy. So with this year, is this the sort of explosive year for Wi-Fi? Yes, I believe uh, even I just had the announcement of Huawei launching the Wi-Fi 7 product. Yeah. So uh, 2024, 2025 will be critical years for the explosion of Wi-Fi 7. For industry as well? So how does it work for businesses? Same, for businesses same benefits, as well, same benefits. So we can talk, for example, manufacturer companies that they have a uh, robotic strategy on their manufacturing plants. They have, uh, for example, augmented reality applications. So it's important that Wi-Fi can cope with those demands of capacity and can deliver that capacity back to the enterprises. And you're confident that business will rapidly embrace this new technology? I think they will very rapidly embrace. Uh, in particular, we all know that there is a huge digital transformation in the world. Everything is becoming more digital. Uh, digital is bringing a lot of uh, competitiveness uh, differentiation between everything that we have, like products, the way that we book flights, the way that we get whatever check-in on, yeah. on the flight. So uh, all that is super important that uh, that digital transformation is followed by the infrastructure capacity. Uh, and I believe Wi-Fi is on the forefront for that and will help a lot on that digital uh, evolution.